This is such an awesome story. Yeah, a brand new cheerleading squad at Weathersfield High School. It's called the Sparkle Squad and it includes girls with disabilities. It was started by two girls in Iowa, though this is the first one here oh, in Connecticut. I didn't know that. And it's just amazing. Our better buddy Melissa Cole met up with the girls at practice and she said this was truly a heartwarming experience. Ready? E. E. A. A. G. G. Meet Bella Silva, one of the newest members of the Weathersfield High School Sparkle Cheerleading Squad. The squad consists of the varsity cheerleaders and seven girls with disabilities. Mary and Elida are also part of the Sparkle team. What's your favorite part about it? Everything. Cheering with all the girls, just being excited and just, I really am excited. As the varsity girls finished up their practice, then came back out in their uniforms to meet up with the Sparkle girls, the excitement to see each other on both ends was amazing. Cafeteria lunch dates were being made, hair was being fixed, true friendships beginning. I expected, you know, to go to practice with these girls and, you know, teach them things and it would be not professional, but it would be just strictly learning and then I realized that these girls are so warm and they are so friendly. After a while, when you get comfortable with them, you can form true, deep, meaningful friendships, which I have with many of the girls. They all had more in common than they thought. They talk to you about everything that you normally talk about, boyfriend, shopping, I mean everything. Sarah is the team captain. I'm ready, are you ready? In practice, all the girls learn new cheers. Navy, blue, and white. Up high, eagles, fight, good. And everyone gets a chance at doing stunts. Two legs and lean forward, bring your hips forward, Jules. See how good that looks? Bring out your legs. Straight. Oh, Lotus. Come on down. Grab my hands. Yay! That looks so good. The girls put these moves to good use at their first home game at the end of September. And the crowd went wild. As far as the fans go, it was insane. So has so there happy. been like a really good response from the whole school about this program? An amazing response. Crazy. It's, it was a lot of fun. All the moms couldn't be prouder of their daughters. They're doing things they never thought they could, have gained self-confidence, and a real feeling of being included. It was so exciting to watch the kids. And, and not just her. I've, I've known... Um, most of the kids um, for many years and just to see how this experience has just made them grow socially and and just with self-confidence has been amazing. Cassandra the biggest part is the other girls no, being with them she loves the cheering part but it's a little maybe a little tougher for her with her physical disabilities um, but she talks about the other girls and that's really special because that's what it is. It's really inclusion. Juliana loves this experience. She loves being with the other girls. She loves being a part of things. I think it's just being a part of something. And for the varsity girls, it's an experience they won't soon forget. So far, it's been enriching, enlightening, anything that you can imagine. It's opened my eyes in so many ways and opened my heart. And I love these girls to death, every single one of them. And I love the program and I love what it stands for. That's just amazing. I mean, really a win-win situation because the girls who went into it thinking that, oh, we're just going to uh, observe and we're going to teach and, and, and maybe not connect. Now they grew Are in you ways cry? that they never... I know. We're I'm both ready to cry. Succinct. We have to stop this. Stop it. Because I'm going to cry and you're going to cry. And we want to thank Peter McHugh, our editor, who was calling at 8.30 last night. He's not supposed to be here at 8.30 because he's can like, I can I make the story, story longer? longer? And we're like, you know, our producer's like, yes, make it as long as you want because it's a great story. We encourage other high schools to find out about the Sparkle yeah. Squad. Do it at Amazing. your school. Amazing. I would love it if someday Helena was involved in something like that. So uh, you can have a Sparkle School, a Sparkle Squad at your school. You go to do something.org, which, by the way, was founded by the woman who founded 
Dress for Success, and she is a Connecticut woman. The so go to do something.org. That's awesome. The Weathersfield High Sparkle Squad will be performing at the home game at the end of this month, so you can check that out as well. That All right, awesome. get me a tissue, will you, please? We're coming back with a great day out for the family. Ridiculous. Stay with us. You're watching Better Connecticut. <laughs>